saving the sparrow. Hiralal looked at the power line that ran across this village. His father had once told him that the line brought electricity to their homes. Quite often, Hiralal thought about following the power line to see where it went. He imagined the places he would see and the people he would meet. Most evenings, sparrows came to rest on the power line. They looked beautiful like little glass beads on a necklace. Seeing the birds, he wished he were one of them so he could fly to strange lands. One morning, as Hiralal was cycling to school, he heard the, the loud twittering of the sparrows. Something was not right. He looked up to see that one of the sparrows was caught in the power line. It was hanging there, head down, desperately flapping its wings. But he did not know how he could help. So Hiralal rode off to school. He hoped someone would save the sparrow. When he came back from school, he saw that the sparrow was still trapped. Its wings were spread, but they were not moving. Hiralal began to worry. What if it died? He noticed that other sparrows were flying around the trapped bird trying to help it. Hiralal ran into the house. Ma, help me. Pa, quick, come quickly. His parents rushed to his side. What happened, they asked. He told them about the sparrow. He pleaded with them to find a way to save it. But the power line is very high, his father pointed out. How are we going to reach it? His mother pursed her lips and said, It's too dangerous. I will not let either of you go near the wire. Hiralal was sobbing. His parents tried to comfort him, but there seemed to be little they could do. Hiralal knew the bird would not live much longer. The thought did not allow him to rest. But slowly an idea began to take shape in his head. Soon after, Hiralal cycled to the power station near his village. When Ram Bharose, the maintenance man, saw this young boy waving to him, he unlocked the gate and let him in. Hiralal told him about the sparrow. Could you please switch off the power for a little while? He asked. Ram Bharose scratched his head. Then he said, let's see, maybe the supervisor can help. He took Hiralal to a kind old man who was sitting at a desk. Hiralal was tired and frightened. With tears in his eyes, he said, A sparrow is going to die because its foot is caught in the power line. If you can switch off the power, we can take the bird down. Please, you must listen to me. The old man listened to Hiralal patiently. Son, switching off the power is not going to be easy, he said. Think of the hospitals. What will happen to a patient who is in the middle of an operation? He stopped and looked into Hiralal's sad eyes. Then he said, tell me your name, son. Also tell me where you live. He touched the boy's shoulder. You have a large heart, but it's time for you to return home. It's growing dark outside. Sad and helpless, Hiralal returned home. Sometime near dawn, he woke up to loud noises. Oi, Hiralal, come out. Hiralal shot out of the house. His heart was racing. He had seen three men. One of them was Ram Barose. There is a power shut down at the station, Ram Barose explained. They had come with a truck to rescue the sparrow. Hurry and jump into the truck. Show us where the sparrow is. Hiralal searched for the bird. Suddenly he yelled, a little more to the right, a little more. They were now directly under the power line where the sparrow was trapped. The driver steered the truck in position, got the extension ladder ready. Ram Bharose swung up the extension ladder as the other man switched on his torch and held it up. The light from the torch picked out the sparrow hanging from the wire. Ram Bharose carefully loosened the bird's claw that was caught in the wire and put the sparrow in his shirt pocket. The rescue had only taken a few minutes. Ram Bharose and his companions left after handing the sparrow to Hiralal, the bird rested in his cupped hands, suddenly jumped out of his hands. It spread its wings and began to fly. Hiralal would always remember this magical moment. 
some question and answers. What did Hira Lal think when he saw the power line running across his village? Hira Lal thought about following the power line to see where it went. He wondered about the places he would see and the people he would meet. What did the sparrows on the power line look like? The sparrows on the power line looked like little glass beads on a necklace. Seeing the sparrows on the power line, what did Hira Lal think? Hira Lal wished he were one of the sparrows so he could fly to strange lands. What did Hira Lal see as he was cycling to school one morning? As Hira Lal was cycling to school one morning, he heard the loud twittering of the sparrows. He looked and saw that one of the birds was caught in the power line by its claw and the other birds were trying to save it. Whom did Hiralal first call for help? On returning from school, when Hiralal saw that the sparrow was still caught in the power line, he ran home and called out to his parents to come and help save the sparrow. Why did Hiralal's father think it was an impossible task to rescue the sparrow. Hiralal's father thought that the power line was very high and that they would find it hard to reach the sparrow. What did Hiralal's mother get concerned about? Hiralal's mother said it was very dangerous and that she would not allow either of them to go and touch the wire. What was the idea that came to Hiralal's mind? Hiralal cycled to the power station in the village and asked the maintenance man Ram Bharose if he could turn off the power. How did Ram Bharose help Hiralal? Ram Bharose took Hiralal to the supervisor for help. The supervisor was a kind old man seated at a desk. Why did the supervisor say it would be a tough task to turn off the power in the daytime? The supervisor said that during the daytime, the hospitals would be affected if there would be no power. People in the operating theater would have a problem. How many men came to rescue the sparrow? Three men, including Ram Bharose, came to rescue the sparrow in a fire truck. They turned off the power at the power station just before dawn, brought the truck to Hiralal, got him inside the truck, and Hiralal took them to where the sparrow was entangled in the power line. Then Ram Bharose swung up the extension ladder while another man from beneath held up a torch so that he could see the sparrow clearly. He then disentangled the claw of the sparrow from the power line, put the sparrow in his shirt pocket and brought it down and gave it to Hiralal. Describe the magical moment that Hiralal had. When the sparrow was placed in the cupped hands of Hiralal, the bird slowly opened its wings and flew away. This was a magical moment for Hiralal.